The European Green Deal wants to slash transport emissions by 90% by 2050. With more cycling, Europe can achieve that objective. And Europe wants more cycling. Cities and countries have invested over 1 billion euro in cycling improvements since the beginning of the COVID crisis. They have designed 2,300 kilometers of infrastructure to promote active mobility. 67% of these funds were committed by only three countries, France, Italy, and Finland. But the true heroes of this story are cities. In a matter of weeks, amid a sanitary, social, and economic crisis raging all over the world, visionary mayors have repurposed vast amounts of their public space. New bicycle lanes are popping up all across Europe at an unprecedented rate. Sidewalks are widened to allow for more people to walk safely. Speed limits get reduced on hundreds of kilometers of European streets. And motorized vehicles are banned from entire portions of our cities. These cities have already implemented over 1,100 kilometers of new measures to make walking and cycling better and safer. It is almost as if European mayors were just waiting for an excuse to push cycling as much as possible. Thanks to this outstanding mobilization of resources, Europe is becoming a cycle superpower. But we are not there yet. Europe wants more cycling, and it needs the Recovery and Resilience Funds to finance this revolution. The best moment to build a cycle lane was 40 years ago. The second best moment is now.